it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey folks, it's Stephen here with StudyClicks. In this video, I want to help you master solving simultaneous equations. We're going to look at a couple of scenarios here that will cover all aspects of solving these equations. So let's have a look at the steps. What we're going to first want to do is to want x or y to have the same number but opposite sign in front of them. Secondly, what we're going to do from there is solve for x or y. And then thirdly, we'll sub that back into the original equation to find the other variable. This will make sense in the motions. So let's solve a pair of equations here. I have 2x plus 3y equals 15 and 5x plus y equals minus 8. Now, we want x or y to have the same number but opposite sign in front of them. I always pick on the y's to start with. Don't ask me why get it? But uh, I always pick on the y's. In our first equation, we have a 3y. In our second equation, we have a 1y. Now, I want those to be the same number. The first one's grand as 3y, but I want the second equation to have a minus 3y. So in order to get a minus 3y in the second equation, I'm going to have to multiply across by minus 3, because minus 3 times the 1y will give me a minus 3y there. So watch what I do. I keep the first equation the same, and I'm going to multiply my whole second equation by minus 3, being very careful with the signs there. Now you can see in front of the y's, I have a 3y in the first equation and a minus 3y in the second equation. Why did I do that? It's so I can draw a line underneath these and add the two equations together. So watch what I mean. I have 2x minus 15x, which gives me minus 13x. 3y take away 3y is 0. And then I have 15 plus 24, which gives me 39. Then I divide both sides by minus 13 here to get x equals minus 3. So that's our first two steps done here. We wanted x or y to have the same number but opposite sign and we've solved for x or y. On to the third step by subbing back into an original equation to find the other variable. So I have x, I need to go get y. So I'll sub into either equation, doesn't matter which, I'll take the first one because it's just there. I have 2 by x, so 2 by minus 3 plus 3y equals 15. And all I'm going to do is multiply out and solve for y. And there you have it, the hard work is done. I've got y is 7, so overall we have x equals minus 3 and y equals 7 are our answers here. Let's try these steps out on another pair. Here I have x plus 2y equals minus 10 and 3x minus 5y equals 14. Now straight away at step 1 we want x or y to have the same number but opposite sign. I'm going to pick on the y's because it's just a handy place to start. First equation has a 2y, the second equation has a minus 5y. So what number could I turn both of those into? Well the lowest common multiple of the two is 10 so let's turn them both into 10s. To turn the first equation into a 10y I'm going to have to multiply it by 5 and the second equation I'll want a minus 10y of the opposite sign. So to turn minus 5 into 10 I'm going to have to multiply it by 2. So multiply the whole equation by 2. So let's just do that. Multiply the whole first equation by 5 and the second by 2. Step 1 is complete. We have x or y with the same number but opposite sign. I'm going to draw my line here and add the two equations together. So I'm going 5x plus 6x which is 11x. 10y take away 10y is 0 and I have minus 50 plus 28 which gives me minus 22. So what I'll do from here is solve for x by dividing both sides by 11 and get x equals minus 2. And what I'm going to do from here is take this value for x, move on to step 3 and sub back into an original equation to find the other variable. Let's just sub into the first one. So it's x, which is minus 2, plus 2y equals minus 10. And from here, I'm just going to solve for y, as per usual in a normal linear equation. And there I get y equals minus 4. So my answers here are x is minus 2 and y is minus 4. Let's look at the last case scenario. Here are 4x plus 3y equals 14 and 5x plus 7y equals 11. So what we want here is x or y to have the same number but opposite signs. So let's just pick on the y's again here. I have 3y and I have a 7y. Now I need to think I need those to be the same number but with opposite signs. So what's the lowest common multiple of 3 and 7? It's 21. So what would I have to multiply the first equation by to get a 21y? Well, I'll have to multiply it by 7 because 3 times 7 gives me 21. And then I'm on to the second equation. If the first one has 21y, the second one needs to have a minus 21y. So to get a minus 21 here, I'd have to multiply 7 by minus 3. So let's go ahead and multiply those equations. Being very careful multiplying those out, we get the following. Now we're on to our next step where I have to solve for x or y. So I'm going to draw my line here and I'm going to add the two equations together. So we're going 28x plus minus 15x to give me 13x. 21y take away 21y is 0 and then 98 take away 33 is 65. Dividing both sides here by 13, I'm going to get x equals 5. And now on to step 3, I take this result, sub it into one of the first two equations and solve for the other variable y here. So I'm going to sub into the first equation and just solve for y. 
and there you have it folks if you can nail those three steps and those three scenarios you'll be a1 with your simultaneous equations now it's your turn to get busy working on some simultaneous equations take a bit of time here and pause the video check in with the solutions when they appear on screen afterwards In question one, the y's eliminated straight away so we could immediately solve for x and then sub back into either equation, doesn't matter which one, to find the other variable. Here in question two, to eliminate the b's, I had to multiply the second equation by two so that I could have a minus 6b and a 6b to eliminate. Doing so, we follow the normal method then for solving simultaneous equations. Question three is a busy one. We're asked to solve for G and H, but our equations are hot messes. So what we had to do is rearrange the equations to get all the letters to the left and the numbers to the right. After we rearranged the equations and had them in that form, we could stack them together and work on eliminating one of the variables and solving. 